There are moments in life that define what we are capable of. Although these moments are rare, they create memories that last a lifetime. Most of these memories are portrayed by word of mouth and slowly fade with time. For Dylan and I, this memory was captured for viewers and ourselves to never forget. This is the classic. Three twelve. Bigs being bigs. of the classic this has been nuts i didn't expect this many boats but there's about 90 to 100 boats here big jam at the launch but you know what we're gonna have some fun dylan and i got a long run it's super cold as you can tell i'm totally bundled up but we're gonna have some fun day one let's hope we can get a good jump get us a good start into day two and uh just have some fun smallmouth man we haven't been catching smallmouth all season so this will be a good time we'll keep you guys tuned Get it all on the GoPro and uh, cross our fingers we can stack up a good weight for day one. Let's get it. See you on the water. What the hell was that? That was a run, buddy. You won't catch me doing that for pleasure. Oh, my eyes hurt. My eyes hurt so good. What's that? Believe me if I said three thirteen? No. Yeah. You're kidding me. Wow, that's a stocky mother, huh? Locked at 312. 312. Woohoo! Oh, hell yeah! Lumber! We're more that size and we're in a good shape. <laughs> Bigs being bigs, skin hooked. Look at how fat he is. What a freaking big smallie, Dale. It's a toad. <laughs> Four ten. I like how he swam into the net. Yeah, that was really nice of him. Oh, oh, that makes me excited. Let's see, I was like, oh, that one's Yeah, when I saw your rod, it was heavy, heavy. I was like, yeah, I think that one's a little bigger. I mean, if we get a float around here and catch four plus pounders all day. Okay. <laughs> Can we just double right here? Can we just double? that. 
now. Huh? It broke? Yeah. Oh, at least on that one, huh? I'm, I will take that. No two cells. Check nine. Three and a half. Inches and two pounds. <laughs> we need a camera to go down to. It's raining, raining. Well, day one, Charlotte boys in the books. Dylan and I had a decent day. Only caught five keepers. Could have been better, but could have been a lot worse. We're in 10th uh, place right now out of 95, so not too bad, but we got some ground to make up tomorrow. Four pounds behind the leader. Gonna be throwing a drop shot. A little bit more drop shot. <laughs> and a little bit more drop shot tomorrow. So we did find some new areas with fish though. So, um, you know, the numbers are there. It's just throwing a, a bait in front of enough fish to get them to bite. So we'll keep you guys tuned tomorrow. The weather has cleared up a little bit. So hopefully uh, we, can, we can get after them and at least cash a check. So stay tuned for tomorrow. We're gonna get some rest. We'll see you guys on the water. I got it. Athlete. Woo! That was gonna have it. a lot closer than I wanted. Oh. Woo! Touchdown, baby. Come off? Huh? My leader came undone. No way. Baby, we're gonna have a day, Dale. Quarter three. Where'd my friend go? Number two. 
212, 211. Yeah. We're gonna have to do some fizzing here in a second. Yeah, it'd be. Oh, 210 is my guess. 214. They're here, Dill. We gotta keep catching them. I think the suspenders are uh, there to get. Five, son. <laughs> Time check. 8.20. We're gonna fish it for like 25, 30 minutes. Five. A lot of room to grow, too. Uh-huh. 3.6. 14 and a quarter pounds at 8.30. Oh. oh, what a relief it is. Hey. Oh, it might be a day, brother. It might be a day. This could get fun in a hurry. Just over two, I think, which calls our 112. 2 pounds even. Gives us a quarter pound. I think quarter pound. Two and a quarter-ish. We got work though. Eight. That one, two, six. Two, three. Is two three as well. That'll call. Yeah, it's probably got like two and three quarter or something. Two ten.
I guess, huh? I did beat my ass. Yeah, he beat our ass better than any other. I thought that was gonna be a giant. I thought that was gonna be a giant. 214. Okay. Oh, it locked on 215. Not this time. Not tonight. God, they are just so healthy here. We gave away $21,000 today for the classic. So, a lot of big money we give. We try and give away each year. First place, John DeRoche and Zach Nice. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. All right. With $39.58, Holy shit. Big oh, boy, John. Well, it now is a couple weeks after the classic, so I've had some time to, to process the whole thing and kind of kick back and get dry, first of all, too. So, um, man, what a tournament. We couldn't have asked for it to go a better way. I mean, really, Dylan and I had about an hour and a half to pre-fish beforehand. I've never fished on Charlevoix, so, um, you know, day one was just for me trying to figure out the water a little bit and... Dylan's really conservative. He, he, he won't say this, but I'll say it for him. He is a hell of a smallmouth fisherman. I mean, that kid can catch smallmouth. He's very good at using the electronics to locate bass and just super precise with his casting and has just his bait that he drop shot fish is just dialed. He, he knows a smallmouth and, you know, uh, day one was huge, huge to have Dylan in the boat because we definitely wouldn't have been anywhere close to where we were without that. But day two was just special, man. I mean, oh, catching those smallmouth like of, of that magnitude and in that ultra clear water, uh, just it's hard to beat. We just had so much fun doing it. 
and to finish up in sixth place out of like the top 95 teams that fish West Michigan bass. I mean, yeah, that was a, a hell of a way to end the season. So super excited with how we did there. You know, this is just a testament of why I, I started filming is to capture all those little moments that you would forget where now I have all of this footage and a video that I get to put together like this that I really, really enjoyed editing. Um, you know, I'll have this forever. So huge testament of why I do this. I had so much fun. I think this probably is the best content we've had on the channel yet. One of the things I, I want to want to make note of is the audio for the weigh-ins was kind of kind of bad because I had to put the waterproof casing on the GoPro. So that's why I didn't include too much of it. And uh, one thing I do want to say, the DNR and the fishing resources up in Northern Michigan uh, just did a phenomenal job of, of keeping these fish alive and making sure that they were all set to, to head back out on the big water after our weigh-ins. So I, I filmed a little bit of the the tank that after you're done weighing in you put all the fish in there and they fizz them to make sure that the buoyancy of their swim bladders is you know good for them to stay out there and, and be healthy right away and then they have a chute that that they send the fish down and it gets them out into deeper water so they aren't just kind of shell shocked so a huge shout out that was just really cool the way that they went about it because a lot of these fish were caught deeper. The other thing too is I included the first place announcement. I kind of wanted to show what the the weight gap was. It was about six, a little like six and a half pounds between us and the lead. Um, so we ended up sixth place and and the the cool part is is the person who won it, John Durash and his partner Zach. So John we went to college with and fished for Central with us. And so to see him win it and uh, just have a really strong showing on some of his home turf was, was really cool. Um, so congrats to John and Zach, they deserved it, man. They, they worked hard. They weighed in the only bag of the tournament that was over 20 pounds and they did it on day two when they had a lead to, to defend. So. Huge shout out to them. That was that was cool to watch. I'm not upset with our sixth place finish whatsoever. Overall, that was a fun season. I'm I'm really really looking forward to next summer's fishing tournaments. That's for sure, and getting to film those. But for now, I am so happy that I'm going to have a bow in my hand. I'm going to be in a tree stand, and we've got lots of hunting and and different bow bow shooting type of types of videos coming up so I'm, I'm really looking forward to this next season and working on these videos for hunts because we've got hunts from previous years uh, we've got some some different archery challenges some 3d target stuff and just a lot of hunts from from previous seasons that'll get in the mix but i'm really looking forward to this this hunting season it's going to be a good time it's going to be a good time so last fishing video for a while i hope you guys liked this these fishing series it was so fun getting to do them and i just love still competing with fishing and um you know getting to do it on a weekly basis especially on a monday it makes you look forward to mondays so um until next time we'll see you guys on the fishing series next year and we have plenty, plenty of content to come as far as hunting goes. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, take care. Have a good night. Always thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, hit that like and subscribe button below. Thank you.